Over the next 24 hours, I am going to script, voice act, animate, and sound effect a brand new cartoon, all by myself. I have done this before, and that turned out okay. So there's like five minutes left. The animation is pretty much done, but I still have to export it, do sound, do some editing. So unfortunately, it's now a 25 hour challenge. Uh, well, back to it. I went over time a little bit, uh, so we're gonna see if I can do it better and faster this time. So let's hop right into it. So it's one o'clock now, and I will ideally have a finished product by 1 p.m. tomorrow. First step is obviously to write a script, and I do have the basics, the basic idea of the story, and a couple of jokes down already. I don't have the ending, I don't have most of the meat, so time to, time to get started. I didn't film myself typing the script, so enjoy this beautiful stock footage. The basic premise is that a guy is looking for his son. That's, uh, that's all I'm gonna say for now. And that was based on one of the many stupid jokes I've been writing in this notepad file for over three years. Most of them are just puns, but I managed to fit a few of them into the story. After coming up with the ending, it was relatively easy to fill in the gaps. Alright, I can't really show you the script writing process without spoiling it, uh, and it's also very boring. But look, here's something I typed on notepad. Maybe, maybe you can zoom in and read that, but... So yeah, it's pretty much satisfactory, but I might add to it later. Recording some lines on my handy dandy lapel mic. Hey, mind your own business. Hey, mind your own business. Mind your own business. <laughs> Man, I feel like we've searched every corner. I have an idea. I have an idea. Right now I'm just cutting the audio from my delicious voice acting. Uh, it sounds, <laughs> sounds usable so far. I technically voiced five different characters. They don't all have a lot to say, but yes. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I can work on a storyboard slash animatic. Cutting up all the audio was kind of slow and painful because I had 38 voice clips across 7 recordings. I also did like 12 takes for some of those, but don't let that fool you into thinking they're good. Anyway, it wasn't actually that bad and I was able to start storyboarding soon enough. So 5 o'clock update, I am deep in the, in the deep end of making an animatic. Uh, it's not really an animatic, I'm just... I have a really crude drawing of each shot with, uh, with the audio synced up. Uh, so I'm pretty close to finish with that. Then I'm gonna have some dinner, and then, just maybe, I will start some actual animation. Here we have our two main characters, and as you can see, I'm animating some mouth movements. That's gonna be the bulk of what I'm doing. It's one of the easier things to animate, and the script has a lot of dialogue, so it only makes sense. Of course, it'd be nice to have some more body movement and facial expressions, but with a time limit, you gotta save that for the most important parts. The eyebrows were key in this close-up right here, for example, but not really necessary in most of the shots. 8 o'clock update. I have indeed started animating. Uh, I haven't done a huge amount, but I've done some. Done some lip syncing. I think I have more done now than I did at this time, the last time I did this. I definitely need to get at least half of the animating done tonight, if not most of it. Uh, then just finish it off in the morning, do some sound effects, do whatever I need to. Hopefully get it done in 24 hours. I am drawing everything from scratch, so drawing these backgrounds can be a bit time consuming. Ultimately, I made them simple enough to get the point across without looking completely boring. 10.30 update. I have done more animating. I think I've done a little more than half of the work I need, animation-wise. I'm gonna do a little bit more, then chill, try to get a good night's sleep, and try to finish the rest in the morning. Now, if you're wondering why my 10-hour animations look better than this 24-hour animation, let me explain. Those are 10 hours of actively working on it spread over multiple days. Since this is 24 hours straight and I need time for breaks and sleeping and working all the pre and post production stuff, I'm probably spending significantly less than 10 hours animating this. I'm also making a two minute short film as opposed to a three second loop. I just woke up. I've got four hours and 10 minutes left. I think I can do it. Um, that's the update. I, I should go animate. Guys, I finished the animation. It's uh, far from perfect, but it's good enough. Um, I've got one and a half hours left. So now I have to add a bunch of music and sound effects and some editing. Hopefully I can get it done. Oh my god, you guys, it's a... Uh... It's before one o'clock and I have indeed finished. So regardless of how this turned out, I am pretty happy with myself. 
So with that, I present to you a uh, working title, The Lost Child. Enjoy. Michael? Michael? Damn it, I need to find my son. I'm right here, silly. Sorry. Come on, Adam, I'll help you look. Where do we even look? Everywhere. Well, he's not here. Not here. Not here. By the way, were you also surprised that the sun can talk? Yeah, that was deeply upsetting and did forever change my perception of reality. But anyway, let's go, Sprongo. Time's being wasted. Hey, mind your own business. Man, I feel like we've searched every corner of the globe. I just can't find him anywhere. Globes don't have corn. I have an idea. I'm all ears. So your idea was just to go back to where we started. Yeah, I mean, it's always the most obvious place, right? I just, I still don't see him anywhere. So you give up? I guess, I guess I do. <laughs> oh my god, Michael? <laughs> That's right, father. I always knew I could outsmart you in hide and seek, and now you know too. But wait, where's Sprongo? Don't you see? There is no Sprongo! Think about it. Have you ever seen me and Sprongo at the same time? So, you've been pretending to be my friend, with a different accent and hyper-realistic costume for the last three years, just so you could win at hide and seek? Yes. Son, that is so freaking cool. So that was my second 24 hour animated short film. I think it's not half bad. There are some similarities to the last one I did. Uh, it's a completely different story, completely different characters. The animation isn't very complex, but um, has its fair share of camera angles and locations and expressions. So yes, let me know what you think of that. I hope you had fun. I hope you have a good day and I will see you later.